do um, with Caitlin's help. I think we finally got this working. So I've gone back and refreshed this first authentication lab. So we have another fresh version, because the old version timed out on us, of this username enumeration lab. And now we need to catch, I'm going to clear this old stuff and catch a login. So I'll put an A here. Make it a little longer, it's easier to see. B, 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 B. There we go. Login. Okay, here's my login request that failed. And now what you do is you go down here and highlight the parameter you intend to vary, which is username, not password. And you right click here and go to extensions and send to Turbo Intruder. And the Turbo Intruder is not included in Burp by default. You extend your Burp here on the Extender tab. And there's a BAP store, just like a Microsoft store or the Apple iOS store. You can add things, which I think are just written by like users. And Turbo Intruder is an extension you can add to your browse, to your burp. And the amazing thing, I'm surprised they allow this, is the Turbo Intruder totally overcomes the deficiencies of the free version for this kind of attack. But it's a little harder to use, and I guess they consider that enough irritation to motivate people to pay for the real version. So here's Turbo Intruder. And what it does is it uses this Python script to make a multi-threaded attack. And I already customized this a little bit. What I did was I had to save all those 100 usernames in a file. And I changed this to the right file, Users Sandbound Desktop Usernames. And I changed the connections to three connections concurrent and five requests per connection. By default, it was five and a hundred, and that seemed to be too fast for these uh, instances in this uh, Web Security Academy. So I just slowed it down some, but now if you attack, you'll see it's, by the way, when you run it too fast, you start getting 500 errors instead of 200 re responses. And so now it's just going really fast through them with no throttling. There's 60, there's 70. And just like before, you look for the one that's different. And if you can't just spot it, uh, which I'm not, then you let them finish and then sort by length. And there's the one that's different. So it's add kit is the username. So now we should be able to do the other one. Add kit is the username. So I close this and I go back to my uh, proxy history and I, I now change the password. Right click, send to intruder. And you know, I can think of an even easier way to do this. I'm going to put add kit in here. There's probably smarter ways, but this will get the job done. And then a password. I'm going to send that, and I'm going to start from this one. There, now it has the right password, you know, for me, the right username. I just need the password, so I can right click, extension, send this to turbo intruder. So now it's going to vary the right thing. Now I just need to change this to be passwords instead of usernames. Because I saved a passwords file there before with the 100 passwords. All right, and if I spell that correctly, this should work. OK, there we go. And I'm looking for the 302. And there it is right there, so I'm done. It was add kit and killer. And there we go. So anyway, that's Turbo Intruder, which is pretty awesome.